So with these scissors, it's very simple. You just cut, and you're down your stock before you know it. They are very sharp, so you need to watch your fingers. And you're going to have some clingies on there. That's what your little comb is for. You just brush it through on both sides, and you have a nice plate of chopped chives. Open it up carefully, it is very hot. You will want to fill each cavity almost all the way up to the top, but not quite. Now, the instructions say to let them cook for 4 to 6 minutes. I prefer to leave them in for 4 minutes. Leaving them in for 6 minutes makes them a little too dry. Using the fork that the Baby Cakes Cake Pop Maker came with, go ahead and take them out and place them on the Baby Cakes Cake Pop Stand. Now, with the Breakfast Sandwich Maker, you can make your favorite sandwiches with healthy ingredients at home even faster. Just choose the bread you love, English muffin, biscuit, bagel, or even pancakes. 
Then layer on your favorite toppings, cheese, pre-cooked meat, veggies. Add an egg, top, and close. In just five minutes, slide the egg cooking plate out and you have a hot, toasty, perfectly assembled breakfast sandwich. To make your life even easier, all the removable parts can go into the dishwasher and all cooking surfaces are non-stick. First, twist the bottom ring to remove it from the cookie press. Insert your desired cookie disc and reattach to the barrel. Press the soft quick release button to pull the plunger up completely. Then twist to remove the top of the cookie press from the barrel. A cookie press uses dough of a specific consistency, not too hard and not too soft. Load the dough into the barrel and then reattach the top of the cookie press. Prime the press by pumping down on the lever until the dough comes out of the bottom of the disc and wipe off any excess. Hold the cookie press flat against a clean, cold, ungreased baking sheet. This is important to ensure that cookies stick to the sheet for baking. Pump the lever down once to release a cookie, then move the press and repeat until the barrel is empty. When you're done, you should have dozens of delicious, beautiful cookies. One evening, Agent Jeff decided to get sushi. However, Starting with fresh produce, remove stems, then cut the ends squarely, removing any eyes if applicable. Food should be one and a half to three and three quarter inches in diameter and less than five and a half inches in length. Insert the attachment into the hub of your KitchenAid stand mixer. 
secure, and place the fruit and vegetable skewer onto the mount. Turn it counterclockwise and click into place. Place a bowl or plate under the spiralizer attachment and secure the food to the fruit and vegetable skewer, pressing firmly into the skewer. Next, if you're using the peeler, be sure to install it onto the attachment first by sliding it into the bottom of the blade carrier until it clicks into place. Insert your desired blade into the holder at the top. Pull the release lever, then push the blade carrier towards the stand mixer and align the blade core with the center of your food. Press the blade core into the fruit or vegetable for added stability, and you're ready. Begin with the stir speed, and then move to the desired speed that works with your fruit or vegetable. Speeds 4 and 6 usually work best. Important! When finished, remove the blades before removing your food item. The Pizza Maker Plus from Betty Crocker is a fast, fun, and energy efficient way to create homemade pizzas or flatbreads with your own fresh toppings in just minutes. You'll get 12 inch pizzas with a delicious and crispy crust every time. This is the Cuisinart Griddler Deluxe and it has lots of added new features and I'm going to show them to you now. First and foremost, it's a more generous size. It has, like our other Griddler, removable dishwasher and reversible plates so you can actually grill you can griddle you can also um, use it as a panini press i'm going to show you the other thing that you can do with this is you open it all the way and it can become an open wide grill and then if you use the flat plates an open wide griddle the other great thing about it now is it has a sear blast feature and the sear blast actually is in the front here and you use it by pressing these buttons. You can actually do an upper plate, you can do a lower plate, or you can use both plates. That's another added feature too, is that each plate can cook at different temperatures at the same exact time, or you can put them on the same temperature if you prefer. Getting started with the precision cooker is so easy, especially when you use the app. Choose what you're cooking today, poultry, chicken, chicken breast, and then press start. You'll notice the water starts circulating in the pot. That ensures a precise temperature every time. I'm going to put my food inside the Ziploc bag. And lower it into the water. Press out the air, seal it, clip it, and walk away, just that easy. When you cook steak sous vide, the results are moist, juicy, tender. Look how consistently it's cooked, edge to edge. So first thing you need to know is it has a few parts. It has a lid, which should always stay on when you're cooking. And then it has this part, which is the only part that you can wash. So you're putting food in here. You are never putting food in this part. And you're not putting water in it. Don't put anything in here. Just take this part, place it in. And then you can start putting your food in. So, eight minutes, all you need. These are gonna puff up, get nice and light and cakey. Oh yeah, crispy on the bottom, 
Fantastic. Now, this is the part that everyone gets scared about. This is the part, are they gonna come out right, right? Check this out. They just kind of flip out. Perfect, look at the pan, clean as a whistle. This can go right in the dishwasher, no problems at all. I took the butter out of the fridge and I had it sitting outside on the counter for about an hour, so that's not gonna be as hard. In addition to our pastry cutter, we're also gonna need a butter knife here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pastry cutter and start working the butter into the flour. So uh, let me give you the close-up. So this is made out of actual real wood. You can see the wood stuff on here. When, when you first get it, then it's a tiny bit splintery, um, but after you use it for a while, then all the splinters will come off, either in your fingers or the food, or, or, some, or um, probably, hopefully, get um, worn off. So changing this out to turn it into a regular ruler. So the way to turn it into a regular ruler, both of these, um, both of these things just pull right off like that. 